Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and this video is for ages 9 and up. If you're going to participate in our activities today, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need the worksheet, Jesus enters Jerusalem if Jesus entered our town. Then you will also need the worksheet, Jesus enters Jerusalem, Jesus arrives. In addition, you will need something to write with, um, and you could use something to color with too. And of course, your Bible or an electronic device if you would like to follow along with our Bible story today. All right, that's it for today. So pause the video, grab those things, and we'll be right back. All right, today's story is from the book of Matthew. Matthew is a gospel which means it's in the New Testament, and of course it's a story about Jesus. Matthew is the first book of the New Testament. We are looking for Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11. That's Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11. The Triumphant Entry into Jerusalem As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage, at the Mount of Olives. There, Jesus sent two of the disciples on ahead. With these instructions, go to the village there ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied up with her colt beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything, tell them, the master needs them, and then he will let them go at once. This happened in order to make come true what the prophet had said. Tell the city of Zion, look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did what Jesus had told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt, threw their cloaks over them, and Jesus got on. A large crowd of people spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds walking in front of Jesus and those walking behind began to shout, Praise to David's son. God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was thrown into an uproar. Who is he? The people asked. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee, the crowds answered. All right. Thanks for following along. We have a special verse that we've been remembering each week, which is, do this in remembrance of me, Luke twenty two nineteen. 19. Do this in remembrance of me. And this goes along with our faith word, which is remember, which is to think about and not forget our faith. Remember. What do you think Jesus was thinking when he entered Jerusalem? Now, this is a very important story this week because this is the week that we celebrate Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. We call it Palm Sunday. So what do you think Jesus was thinking about? Remember last week we talked about how he was kind of sad in the garden um, because he knew what he needed to do soon. So maybe he was feeling a little bit of that. Maybe he was feeling some joy that people seemed happy to see him. What do you think the crowds of people thought when they saw Jesus? Well, based on how they reacted, it seemed like they were pretty excited to see him. If you had to pick a plant or flower to wave or lay on the ground for Jesus to walk on today, what would you choose and why? So we call it Palm Sunday because people waved palm branches in the air. Um, so what kind of plant do you think we would use if Jesus came to Ohio? Maybe we would use, hmm, well, there's a lot of daffodils in my garden. Maybe they would <laughs> wave daffodils or uh, maybe they'd use ferns. Ferns look a little bit like palm branches. What do you think? All right, let's get out our first worksheet, which is Jesus enters Jerusalem, Jesus arrives. So this is Jesus traveling um, to Jerusalem from Beth, Bethphage. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Bethpage, maybe. 
help Jesus find his way from Beth page to Jerusalem. So you're going to start right up here and find your way through the maze all the way to Jerusalem. So go ahead, pause the video, and I will be right back with the correct answer. All right. How'd you do? Did you manage to get through? This one kind of wind all the way around. Starting up here, we go all the way down here, all the way back up, all the way to the side, back around, back down to this corner, one more swoop up high, and then right down through Jerusalem. How'd you do? All right. Moving right along today. If Jesus came to town today, how would you like to welcome him? Let's think about some of those questions, how we might welcome Jesus in our next worksheet, which is Jesus enters Jerusalem if Jesus entered our town. Imagine that Jesus has just entered your town. Answer the questions about what would happen. Question number one says, Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey. How do you think Jesus would enter your town today? Number two, what do you think people would wave to greet Jesus today? We already talked about that a little bit. And number three, what do you think people might spread on the ground for Jesus to walk on today? All right, so three questions. Pause the video, take your time to answer those questions. What would you do or what would the town or city do if Jesus showed up today. All right, so let's look at these answers together here. Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey. How do you think Jesus would enter your town today? Well, you could have a lot of different answers for this. One thing I was thinking about, though, was that Jesus wasn't entering on in like a fancy carriage or like a on a fancy horse or camel I'm not really sure what kings <laughs> would ride back then but it was it was just on a donkey it was a pretty um common kind of animal so I don't think that Jesus would come in like a really fancy car or a limo or anything like that I think he would come in um in some some kind of very common very normal mode of transportation um like just a very common car, or maybe I even wrote maybe a bike, bicycle, something very um, low key, I guess. That's, that's what I thought. Um, what do you think people would wave to greet Jesus today? So we already talked a little bit about different plants that we might use. But one thing I thought about was something that everybody always has on them is their cell phone. So maybe when Jesus came, they would wave their cell phones in the air, um, either because they're taking videos, or maybe if it was at night, they were kind of waving their lights in the air, their flashlights in the air um, to lead the way. Um, that was something I came up with. And finally, what do you think people might spread on the ground for Jesus to walk on today? Um, and again, I tried to just think of something that people might have on them already. So I just wrote down maybe they'd laid their jackets on the ground because that's kind of a sign of, of respect. If you want to lie, you're like if someone's trying to walk over a puddle and you like put your jacket over the puddle so they can walk over it. That's like kind of an old fashioned um, chivalrous thing to do. So maybe we would maybe we'd lay our jackets down. So what ideas did you come up with? Make sure you share this with someone in your household today, especially since this is Palm Sunday. Um, these are these are interesting things to think about on this on this special day. All right. Did you know that Jesus is considered the light of the world? When we light a candle during a spiritual practice, it's a way of remembering Jesus. This is why we always light candles at church on Sunday mornings. It's it's our way of kind of bringing Jesus into our space. All right. Well, that's about it for today. Next week is um, Easter, which is very exciting. I hope you have a great holiday. I know a lot of people are on spring break now, so enjoy that. And let's go ahead and pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to us. And thank you for celebrating uh, Palm Sunday. 
In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week.